Welcome to Women Shaping Payments. In this video series, we're tapping into insights from women executives here at Discover Global Network. I'm Emily McKee, your host and Principal Digital Marketing Management at Discover Global Network. Today, I'm sitting with Emily Fauché, and we are going to be diving into different payments industry trends, and we're going to be discussing advancements, innovation, and the rapidly changing technology environment. I'm particularly excited to jump in and speak with you about contactless payments and how it's becoming ubiquitous in our world. Emily, welcome. Thanks, Emily. A lot of us have experience with contactless payments. I know I'm a big fan when I'm paying at the grocery store or another retailer. What part of that capability are you in charge of? So, although, you know, when you're a consumer, you don't want anybody actually thinking about the payment experience itself, my team obsessively thinks about that payments experience all the time. And so at the end of the day, we're starting with the basic specification. So literally the bits and the bytes that happen at that transaction, we're thinking about the specification itself, the testing of that specification, and actually the future of the specification. Because interestingly enough, in the payments industry, we're planning that specification for like a 10 year period out. We're also making sure that that specification works seamlessly with the terminals. So when you go to a retail store, you're often gonna think about tapping that card at the terminal when you go to check out. So we're working to make sure that that works without a hesitation, kind of the second you go to make that checkout experience happen. We're also, you know, I said that kind of tapping, we're making sure that that card works seamlessly. And sure enough, uh, people want that choice. Um, we're making sure that your wallet works. So when you pick up your phone instead of your card, you can pay that easy preference of choice. So my team is responsible for all of those things from the bits and the bytes to making sure it works in the terminal, the card, and the phone. Contactless has had an immense impact on the ways that we pay. A lot of us have a preferred way to pay. Which industries have you seen have the most impact on contactless? Ooh, that's a good that's a good one. I think a lot of industries, frankly, have been significantly impacted by contactless, and we really saw the shift happening during the pandemic. I mean, if you think about, you know, just any purchase that you go out to make right now, and like I can start with, with retail, um, you know, whether you go to buy clothes or you might um, go to purchase electronics, you know, a lot of the challenge that they face is actually about long lines. People don't want to have to to wait in lines. And one of the contactless technologies we have now allows people to pay on a phone or a tablet. So you can actually tap your card. It allows a merchant actually to line bust and to kind of get those lines to go, quite frankly, a lot faster. Um, so that's one of the things that we've seen that's really changed the retail experience. You know, in the transit experience, you used to have to go to the kiosk and get kind of your specialized kind of closed loop transit card. Um, what we see now is you have the ability to go and and use your actual Discover card um, and kind of be able to tap that or tap on your phone. Um, it's a changing experience for a, a transit merchant, which has really changed that vertical. Um, in uh, restaurant business, you can definitely see the change now. You, you know, um, with some of the shortages they had around staffing, you know, you can now pay with a QR code actually, and it's completely disrupted that entire experience, kind of solving some of the challenges that they've had in that business. Um, so contactless has really stepped in to solve a lot of the challenges that the merchant community has faced over the past couple of years and actually created a better experience for consumers. One of the areas you focus on is the transit industry. What have you seen change over the course of your work? Uh, it's been a significant shift. So what we've seen historically in the transit market has been, it's been what we call a closed loop system. You know, markets have been very much locked down. You know, they've, they've had a card, but that card has only worked within that transit system. Um, and you might think that this was a onesie twosie system, maybe only in the US. We've actually seen it happen very rapidly from some of these transit enablers that have started to connect the ecosystem, not only across the US, but across the whole world. So in the past couple of years, Discover is actually lit up kind of 30 plus transit enablers kind of across the globe. It's been a very exciting time for us um, in the transit ecosystem. Incredible, and how enabling for the commuter. Yeah, so when I'm in London, my favorite thing to do is to travel, travel to the office in public transportation and contactless comes in incredibly handy. 
Um, I am able to, whether it's the bus stop or the tube, I can pull out my contactless card. I can tap uh, at the bus or the tube stop, tap on, take the trip, easy peasy, tap off when I get kind of to the stop right by the office. And to be able to do that actually with a card you're already carrying is a very freeing experience. Freeing and time too. Time saving, absolutely. From your vantage point, where do you think the future of contactless is headed? Ooh, that's an exciting one. Um, you know, one of the interesting things I think that we're watching is convergence of point of sale, kind of the whole ecosystem coming together. So there's a lot of questions about will there be actually be physical point of sale in the future? Um, you know, hypothesis, maybe not. So that would be one thing, you know, will you actually physically check out in retail stores anymore? So that's one thing to watch. Um, another one that's going to be really interesting to watch is kind of what is happening with vending machines. Um, you know, what can't you buy, frankly, in a vending machine right now? So that's another really interesting thing to watch. Um, you know, and you can check out, of course, with your contactless payment. So I think, you know, it, it, the technology is going to be around for a while. I think mainly for me, I think it's going to be the way that the checkout experience evolves. I don't think it will be mainly the contactless technology itself. I think it will be the way that the checkout experience itself happens with the consumer. Yeah, it's incredible to hear how that will impact the consumer. Emily, thank you so much for being here. I loved hearing your insights on contactless and your great stories about transit and the way things are developing and progressing. Listen in to some upcoming conversations we're going to have with women executives here at Discover. Thanks for being part of Women Shaping Payments.